Alright, so in this video, I will be showing you 8 iPhone settings or iOS settings that you need to turn off. By turning these settings off, you will make your iPhone faster, increase your battery life largely, and also improve the privacy of your private information. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright, so the first thing that you need to turn off is the location services. Apple originally turns this option on for every app, therefore you can go through the apps to see which one needs to be turned on and which ones don't. Let me first show you what I mean by going through the settings, privacy and then to location services. And then you can be able to see the list of apps that are on your phone. By the way, all the steps are shown to you on the right hand side of the screen in case you don't catch up. Moving on, so each app that you choose has it either turned on for always whenever using the app or ask. If it's on always, this means that your GPS will be turned on all day long and it will result in your battery draining largely. So go through the apps that you use on a daily basis and then choose the option ask for the apps that you don't use. For example, find my iPhone needs to be turned on because it's an important feature that you need in case your phone gets lost or stolen. Additionally, if you are not sure about which app you need to turn this option on, make sure to comment below and I'll help you out. So let's go to the second setting. For this one, you actually need it to be on for it to be off. So let me explain what I mean. First, you need to go to the settings and then scroll down to privacy and then scroll down until you see advertising. So by turning this option on, you will limit the ads that you will see in apps such as Safari, Google Chrome, or Facebook or other apps as well. This will result in faster application use. Additionally, you will no longer allow your phone to be used as a medium for advertisers to use for potential ads. Okay, going to the third setting, this one will make your phone run a bit faster on your daily use. And this might be a tab that is either turned on or off, it depends on your iPhone version to be honest. You need to go to the settings, scroll down to accessibility and then open the option that says motion and lastly the option that says reduce motion. Play around with this option and see which one works for you because it will have different speed effects on different iPhone versions. In my case, after I turned it on for iPhone XS, it was faster and here's the difference in a video that I took. As you can see, it resulted in transitions being faster in apps when it was turned on. However, I tried the same thing on my iPhone 7 and it turned out to be faster when the option was turned off. Therefore, comment below which iPhone version this option worked for and also help the people by reading and benefiting from your comment. By the way, before we head to the fourth option, if this video is helpful, like the video and also subscribe to the channel as I have similar videos for Windows and Android settings as well. Okay, so the fourth setting is very important when it comes to battery life and cellular data consumption. Apple automatically makes your iPhone fetch for email data continuously every second, and this drains battery life largely. Unless you really need this, you can turn this option off and let your phone fetch for data periodically or manually. To do this, you need to go to the settings and then scroll down to passwords and accounts and after that you see a tab that says fetch new data you can see it as it is set on automatically which means that your phone will continuously refresh for new email data you can set it for on 15 minutes or on manual which means that it will fetch for data only when you open the mail application i personally don't need this so i will put it on manual and you can do the same thing so moving on to the fifth setting we have a setting that is known as background app refresh and as the name suggests this setting lets the apps on your iphone to refresh update and fetch for new data when they are not running aka running in the background i used to have this turned on but after i turned it off i noticed that i gained around one to two hours of battery life per day i think you don't need this because nowadays there are fast connections almost everywhere so if you have an app that doesn't run in the background or this option is not turned on for within a matter of seconds after you open it you will be able to refresh and get the new data instead of having your apps running in the background and draining your battery life when you are not using it this is the main reason why sometimes you take out your phone out of your pocket and you see the battery percentage has dropped down. So make sure to turn this option off if you want to prevent this from happening again. You can also turn this off individually for apps, so that's a bonus point. The sixth setting might be something that most of us have seen, however, it is something that we don't really need as it might send private information from our phones to Apple's or app developers. To prevent this, 
you need to go to settings then to privacy and then to analytics and improvements make sure to turn this option off so that your phone does not send reports to apple or any other sources also turn off the rest of the toggles and let me show you why all these reports have been sent to apple without me being aware of it i don't even know what kind of information are in these reports and i'm not sure why they're even sent so toggle it off because i don't think the average user needs this option to be turned on the seventh setting is also important when it comes to battery life and privacy of your phone as apple automatically turns these options on when you start up your phone and it's set on default it is a bit hidden and that's when you know apple don't really want you to turn this option off so to find this you need to go to settings privacy location services and then lastly the option that's called system services so when you open this option you will see a bunch of toggles but i'll guide you through which ones you need as these intensively run in the background and give information about your whereabouts and also drain your battery life keep those one on that have to do with maps that is in case you actually use the map so if you don't make sure to leave the rats off make sure to turn off the option that says time zone because if you rarely travel, you don't need this option to be turned on as it continuously searches for time zone change and results in battery life consumption. And also turn off the option that says significant location. As you can see, it's asking for my face ID, but you need to go and turn this off because this is only used to save a history about your whereabouts and you don't really use that because all these toggles have your GPS to run intensively. And as you guys know, GPS is one of the most energy consuming features that phones have and you don't want your GPS to be running for no reason or at least for a function that you don't really need. All right guys, so the last tip that I have for you guys is something that most of us have seen or have left on default which is automatic software updates this setting consumes a lot of battery because it searches for software updates throughout the day for potential update that rarely comes out once every two months besides you can always check for updates manually once a week without having your phone do it for you so to turn this off you need to go to settings general and software update and then turn off the toggle that says automatic updates so we've reached the end of the video, if you lasted this long it means that you found this video helpful, so it will be great from you guys to show your support by subscribing to the channel and also turning on the notification bell. Also watch my video about how to get unlimited storage for iPhones by tapping on the card that's shown to you here. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.